Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties video and this is for January. I was just debating if I was going to do this video or not because I don't have that many empties for this month um, but let's just do it anyway. I have not um, included the empties I have for February so these will come in another video but these are the items I have finished here in January I have not if you haven't seen an empties video before I'm sure you have but if you haven't this is the items I have finished in January not items that I have started in January and then finished in a month it is over a longer period this is all my makeup items in this bag and then the rest is in this one. So in all my videos, I always start out with the makeup empties. So I'll just grab them and tell you what I used up. So the first one is my W7, the matte fixer. This is a setting spray. It's really, really nice. It's a small size with 18 milliliters in it. So this is a perfect travel size and I will for sure have this when I'm going to travel. But at the same time, I'm not the biggest user of setting sprays so I don't know if I'm going to buy it but if I'm going to travel and I get the hype about a setting spray I will for sure get that one and I can really recommend this one because it's small and if you're going to travel this is amazing and this spray itself is very very nice it's not uh, directly spitting <laughs> I finished my Maybelline Dream Setting Liquid Foundation in True Ivory. I really really like this foundation. It, this has a satin finish which is really really nice. This can be used for dry and oily skin. I'm not very used to do this in English. But I really really like this foundation but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again because I think I have found some other foundations that are just as good but cheaper. W7 foundation for example but that color was amazing for those who have pale AF skin because I'm so pale um, in general I finished off my e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Wink Pink I have this in a few project pants this year and this was one of them that I really wanted to have gone uh, this year just because it's very old, but I love this lipstick so much. I love this line of lipstick. This was just a perfect everyday movie nude color and it's just amazing. So I will not, I will buy it again at some point, but right now I have too many colors like this. So, but I can totally recommend that line. It's very, very nice. I have my Benefit Posy Balm lip balm i really really like this as well um it was this nice sheer pink color and it was just really really nice it's this one right here it is a really really nice lip balm but i think it is too expensive for a lip balm for me to go buy it again so i'll just use a cheaper version or something but it was really really nice to try and i actually finished off the Benny balm last year I finished off two mascaras and this is the, they are both W7, this is the W7 Extra Extra Big Bold Lashes Mascara. I actually like this a lot, but I have found a new favorite so I will not go buy this again. It has a, a very very big wand and it's very very, I don't know, big in general. The bristles are not that long at all but it gives you just those long voluminizing lashes that I would really like. I just don't like the brush that much. I found a better one. This is the W7 Zoom mascara. This is like a dupe for the Rocket mascara but I found another one that is better. Um, it's not a dupe for the wand though but it's really really nice but it doesn't give my lashes that big volu volumizing effect. It's an okay mascara. It's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't give me the length and volume that I will really want for a mascara. So that is all the makeup items I have finished in the month of January. So now let's go through the other stuff. These are not makeup, but they are not um, beauty related. 
either. It is a pair of lashes. It is this W7 Get Real Lashes and this is like the cat eye version. Don't know if you can see it. It's like the lashes on here, but I I think you can see it there. Um, I have destroyed these uh, in the process of trying to clean them. I accidentally um, put them into the cleansing water for too long and then I destroyed them. But they, they are very cheap, so I don't really mind. Um, but they were really, really nice to use. So I will buy them again if I run out of lashes ever. <laughs> I finished off a hairspray. I only had one hairspray in my collection at the time. But this was the Villa, Villa Flex, I think. It is in the number 5 hold. Because I have very fine and thin hair, so I need the hold. And this was very, very nice. So I will experiment with hairspray. I don't really care, I just need to hold, so I will always get the strongest hold. I finished off a dry shampoo. It is the Batiste Beautiful Brunette um, color, and I love this one, but I think I need to go to the dark brown next time, just because I think it's too light for me. I wish the dry shampoos with the color has a scent or something, because I will really miss the scent, uh, the scented ones. I have a toothpaste, it is from a brand called Sinail Signal and this is just the anti tata family care mineral thingy toothpaste. Only toothpaste I will ever go through because I yeah I don't like any other toothpaste at all. So this is a hand cream. If you have been following my subscription box Blitz collab last year I tried to work through this hand cream and I finally finished it. Um, I lost it in a month or so and then one of my friends found it at their home, so yeah. But I really really love this hand cream. I have a ton to go through but I will for sure buy this in the future. It is the Oblique, uh, Oblique Siberica Professional Hand Cream something. I don't know. It is very very good and I love it. It is this yellow color but I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but it's just a yellow hand cream. The most important for me in a hand cream is that it absorbs very quickly and this does the trick. So that is just amazing. And the last thing is this Kajal something sponge, cognac sponge that I use in the shower to exfoliate my skin. But it didn't turn all black this last time around in the shower, so I just put it in my empties. Um, so yeah, I finished this one. I already have a new one and I love these things, so I will for sure buy them again. Um, they are not very expensive, so that's okay, but I really love the soft exfoliating on your skin. This was everything I have used up in January. I'm sure I will have a lot more items used up in the coming months. I used up the most of my not completely full items <laughs> in December. Um, so this is just me going through my full sizes this year actually. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, I hope you will follow along on my channel. I have a lot planned out for you guys. So please subscribe, comment and like this video if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one and please take care until then.